Well, welcome. Um, so, um, you know, I've been in office for seven months now, and um, uh, I'm, I'm learning uh, what it's like to be a politician, for, for better or for real. Uh, and uh, one of the things I've learned is that uh, you have to take credit for everything, for the sun rising in the east in the morning, for, you know, for uh, uh, the, the grass growing. But uh, this uh, idea of having a mayor's gallery uh, came from uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, one of the, the most uh, uh, dual hemisphere brain guys uh, I, I know, John Magnan, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Right Side, Mr. Left Side, he does it both. He's a double threat, uh, uh, a, a very quantitative guy during his, his time at NSA and now uh, he switched to his other hemisphere to work on art and has been extremely successful, much to the benefit of our downtown area and, and the, the uh, New Bedford art scene generally. John um, uh, read in the paper some uh, months back that uh, we had uh, uh, decorated the mayor's office and being the stiff I am, I picked a lot of traditional works and uh, although I like them, I think they're great, they're very sort of, they all harken to um, the, the, the whaling era uh, and other points in New Bedford's history, but John's idea was, hey look, why don't you spice it up uh, a little bit in City Hall with some contemporary works, right? And so that was the genesis of this. And so we thought, well, why don't we sort of marry up the two? We have the Ashley room here with some traditional works, and Mayor Ashley himself, uh, his portrait uh, 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 situated right up there. Um, and so uh, that's, that's, that's the direction we're going in. So the idea here is to have sort of a rotating exhibit. They have uh, works hanging for roughly uh, three months at a time. And, we'll, and it's a way of highlighting all the terrific ideas and art and expressions uh, that, that are uh, being generated from the New Bedford soil, right? This is a, as I've said many times before, um, art is not new to New Bedford. Um, it is deeply rooted. It goes back to the days when whaling merchants were patronizing local artists like Albert Bierstadt. I mean, uh, and it's been going, uh, we've had an art scene here continuously for over 150 years, and, and it's uh, growing now. And uh, we want to do whatever we can to fertilize that, that, that soil. And so this is part of it. And as you'll see here, um, a couple of, um, there are a few people whose, whose works are hanging. John, uh, John's sculptor right here, make sure you all come up and scan it, and you'll get to see what <laughs> this says. I, I won't reveal the answer. Um, Allison Wells, who is responsible for, uh, can we call it Cubist, Allison? The uh, <laughs> paper mache collage uh, image of, um, of City Hall right there, which is pretty neat. Um, and, uh, and it's for sale too, so. And the other one, and the other one too, of the harbor. I don't know how she does it, you'll have to talk to her about it, but it's, it's great stuff. And then the John Robson, who's uh, a fantastic photographer who couldn't make it here today, as well as Ray Califf, who, uh, is an artist and happens also to be a city uh, employee. So we have great stuff here, and um, um, I, I appreciate uh, your, uh, your input, John, your idea, and sharing it with us, and uh, all we have to do is, is run with it. Um, I just want to thank my staff as well, Christine Arsenal, Christina Connolly, Lauren Barbara, Allison Cadet, um, and uh, for, for making it happen tonight. I hope everybody enjoys the wine from Travesia and uh, the good food from Cork, and uh, you have a mayor who uh, has a thing for leftovers, so, uh, um, so if you don't eat it, I will. Um, but in any case, enjoy. This is, we, this is the start of something um, I hope will be institutionalized here. That is to have uh, this city hall, the seat of the city's government, be also a, a sponsor of arts. Not necessarily in the financial sense, but in the sense that, uh, although that's important too, and we gotta find ways to do that, right, Lee? Um, however, um, but, but we, can, we can tout art, we can highlight art, we can uh, uh, feature art in ways that, that other venues can't. And so it's important to me to do that. Uh, you'll see in the mayor's office, for those of you who have been through it in the last uh, few months, we have a number of pieces from uh, the art museum, mostly uh, uh, old and very uh, arresting photographs of uh, 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 New Bedford scenes over the last century. It's great stuff. You should take a look. You're certainly welcome to do it. In fact, we have office hours tonight uh, till about 7 o'clock, so please everyone uh, stroll on in to take a look. But it's all, again, with it, the idea of really promoting art uh, as a way not only of enriching 
community life here, but also making this a more attractive, the downtown area, a more attractive place to visit. And this is stuff that Lee has been doing through AHA for some time now with great success, you know, um, and with many, with many supportive uh, partners. And, um, and uh, tonight's an AHA night, and this is a great way to kick it off. So I encourage everybody to make the rounds tonight. So thank you very much. Um, art gallery, his newly instituted art gallery with Allison Wells, one of the stars of the show. And your whole vision of New Bedford is really changing in the way you show it in your art. Yes, yes. Um, I'm originally from Trinidad and Tobago, so I guess my whole concept and view of New Bedford will be very different. I've been here for eight years. I came here to study um, fine art painting. Um, I did my master's degree at UMass Dartmouth. And so my whole vision of New Bedford has been very different. It's gritty, it's real, it's raw, and then it's so beautiful. There's so many different beautiful sights of it. And so I wanted to capture that. I'm a painter, um, but I wanted to do a little something different for New Bedford. And so I didn't paint, but what I did was I painted with paper. So I did collage, paper collage. So it's a process where you use glue and you stick different colored pieces of paper in different ways, but bringing together the images that you want. So from far away, it almost looks like a painting, but when you come close, you can actually see the actual ripped and torn and cut pieces of paper, which gives it a really interesting, ethereal kind of feel. Well, it's also very much like New Bedford, because New Bedford is such a mixture of all the different Yes. that come to make yes. it a seamless whole. Mm -hmm. the the different cultures and yeah. all these different interesting things that makes it what it is. John Magnum, whose idea this whole gallery at um, City Hall turned out to be. You got wonderful credit from the mayor and his remarks. Yeah, I was very pleased that he gave me all the credit, but I think his staff deserves more of the credit than I deserve because they had to do all the hard work of coordinating, picking the artists, and working with the logistical people to get the work hung up there. All I did was say, let's put up some work from living now, artists yes. and not only dead artists. Yes, yes no. Yeah. We're into the living artists. They're our We're, friends and colleagues. And this way, people coming to City Hall over, as this work turns over and changes over the years will get to see samples of contemporary the best, artists. The best contemporary. Of what, what's going on today. Right. And, and it's a nice exciting. mixture between your work, which is sculptural and wood, and Ray's, which is more ceramic and it's paper. It's uh, uh, stained glass. Yeah, it's a lot of stained glass. And then John Robson's. And Robson's photography, which is unparalleled. always <laughs> unparalleled. That's right. Yeah, I'm honored to be in this group. I know these three artists very well. I've known them for a long time. They're fine, active artists of today. Well, and they're great community participants also. I mean, that's, that's the other thing They I certainly want to are. You see yeah, them around really a lot. Yeah. They, they join a lot of things. And that's important. Yeah, it is. It's very important. Because artists are really becoming the fabric of New Bedford in some funny ways. I mean, you think? No? Yes? Well, they're, they're a fabric of the cultural part of New Bedford, yes. Right. Yeah. We always think of them as part of the emerging economy. We're hopeful that they are part of the emerging economy. That's one of our well, visions we're and hopeful. goals. Yeah. <laughs> we're all hopeful. Well, thanks for talking to us. And, um, you're, you're welcome. And we'll look uh, forward to seeing the show next time. Now, will you be curating part of it, or is that in the mayor's office? No, I, that's why I think his staff deserves uh, a lot more credit than I get. I was just an idea. I just said, hey, Mayor Mitchell, how about if we put up some of today's artists? Here's a piece. Okay. His staff is the one that's going to be have to make it happen every three months, and uh, they deserve a lot of credit for really having to do that.
What we do to the planet, we do to ourselves. You can help keep America beautiful. Visit kab.org. Your choice to recycle can affect more people than you think. Yay! Call Marissa at 508-979-1493 to request your free recycling bins. This message was brought to you by the City of New Bedford and UMass Dartmouth Charlton School of Business. Thank you.